Well, what's up, America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel, coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, I thought I'd do a continuing series on roadkill to give you some more information that you might need to know in case you decide you want to pursue the roadkill pickup profession. Uh, there's a lot of free roadkill out there just waiting to be picked up. And I'm telling you, there's some good eating, whether you believe it or not. I mean, it's really good. But you got to have some instructions on how to do it in the proper manner, and that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to give you some instructions on how to do it and uh, how to get the best uh, products for free. So, okay, here's some of the things that you got to get. Well, first of all, you got to have yourself a good cooler with some moss in it, and uh, you need a shovel. Now you got to get, uh, you can't get just any kind of shovel. You need to get a flat nose shovel. And there's several types of flat nose shovels, so don't get confused with it. It's a simple little process. Look at the flat nose shovels and get the one that don't have no curled up ends on it. See, there's a, uh, the ones with the curled up ends are for transferring a lot of dirt. You don't need that. You want the one that's completely flat and no curling up on it, okay? All right, so you got your flat nose shovel. And for those of you that are squeamish and all that, you can get you some old sissy gloves or something like that and some soap and water to wash your hands and all that kind of. I don't personally use none of that. I just uh, pick it up with my own two hands. I mean, that's what God gave them to me for. And so anyhow, so this, all right, so now you got that. Now, uh, you can do it walking, but I wouldn't advise it, especially at my age. But uh, so I, I reckon a person could do it walking, but he'd need a little uh, wagon to pull his cooler and his shovel along with. And he'd do a hell of a lot of walking. But anyways, uh, most people um, in, the, in, in the roadkill uh, picking profession, uh, they go uh, get them a pickup truck or a car. And so... Uh, that's what I'd advise you to do. Okay, so now you got all your gear together. Now, now you need to know when to go. See, well, obviously, winter time is a good time to go. You can go winter time, day or night. I mean, that did pretty much. But I mean, if it's uh, spring and summertime, you might want to consider a couple of options I've got. Well, option number one would be just to get a, if you if you don't have a pickup truck with one of the big old spotlights on it you know i'd like to have one of them but i don't but if you ain't got one of them he's got a regular old car i think it'd probably be best if you just uh, wait and get up early in the morning just about dawn it'd be the best time to go before the sun comes up but there's a little bit of daylight out there for safety sake okay so uh but it uh but on the other hand if you got a pickup truck Little on big spotlights on it, nighttime is the best time to go. And I'd say around uh, 2, 3 a.m. in the morning when there ain't many cars out there, uh, that's a good time to go. Now, there's another thing you can do that um, uh, improve your efficiency uh, is if you get you one of them police scanners. That's for the ones that want the big roadkill. And uh, listen on the police scanners, and they'll tell you when they had a, a car accident to hit a deer or something big in the road, an elk or something like that. And uh, that would increase your efficiency to get the real good stuff. Now, personally, I'm a, I like the smaller animals uh, on account of uh, my butchering skills probably ain't as good as a lot of the hunters and stuff out there. But okay, okay, so now you're ready to go. And uh, so you ride down the road, <coughs> and you're looking for the road kill. So say you see a, a armadillo out there. Now armadillos, I'm telling you one thing, people don't understand. Armadillos is one of the best eating animals there is in the world. Uh, people say they give you a, a legionnaires or disease or something like that. I know, uh, but anyhow, they don't. I ain't never got none. I've got a little bit of crazy disease. But anyhow, uh, you get your, uh, you see your armadillo in the road there, okay? So um, if he's out in the middle of the road and he ain't squashed real bad, well, you look both ways, and you sort of drag them over on the side of the road there. Now, like I said, for all you finicky people, put your gloves on. Oh, well, nice time. Okay, so you just scoop him up and get him over there on the side of the road. And then you sort of take your finger and just sort of mash on his belly and around his neck and everything like, you know, armadillo's got that stuff on the side, a big armor on him. 
and, and poke them, and if they're soft, uh, that's a good one, okay? And throw them right on in the cooler. But now, if they're a little bit hard and stiff, and they got a little ranky smell about them, uh, you know, I'd just pass them on by if I were you, okay? All right, so there you got your armadillo now. He's in the cooler. He ain't going down the road. Well, that's pretty good. Now, I mentioned in my song about dead skunks in the middle of the road, and that was just, just for you information. It was just a little bit of humor. I wasn't serious about uh, eating the skunks, although uh, I have been told that skunks are edible as well. Now, so if you want to study on it a lot like that, well, you might could get, uh, you know, a good edible skunk. Now, how good they are one way or the other, I cannot testify to, so I don't know. Uh, so you just have to take your chances on that one. But uh, there was just a little bit of humor in my song, okay? And hogs is another thing. I've never seen a dead hog in, uh, killed in the road. Uh, not ever. And uh, I, I, uh, I don't know if they're smarter than other animals or what, but I just ain't never seen it. But I imagine uh, probably out there. Okay, so now uh, we got your armadillo in there. And the squirrels is another thing. Squirrels are the dumbest animal in the road. They can't decide which to go across or come back. That's why they get killed so they gum off it. Uh, the problem with the squirrel is there ain't much meat there to eat, and you got to get a whole bunch of them. But if you get up early in the morning, uh, it ain't hard to do because, uh, like I said, they're dumber than hell. And uh, you get a whole bunch of them. So that's why I said in my song, you throw them in the freezer and get some more later on. Because you got to get a whole batch of them. Now, you get your squirrel and you skin them boogers out, boy, and you throw them up in a skillet and fry them up real good with some brown gravy and put them over biscuits. Oh, Lord, God, that's some good eating, I mean to tell you. All right, I got the squirrels, got them up in there. Well, uh, last thing I'm going to talk about uh, is a possum. Possums, man, people don't know how good possums are. And, and raccoons, too. I didn't mention raccoons in my song, but possums, that's some good white meat, and uh, it is delicious. Kind of like turtle meat to me. I don't know. Uh, I might have a different opinion. But anyhow, those are the things you got to do. You get them back home. And you skin them on out just like uh, you would any other kind of animal and put them in the freezer. And then when you're ready, you cook them on up. Or you don't have to put them in the freezer. You cook them right on up right now. And uh, skin them things up, boy, and you have you a delicious meal. Well, that's my story on the roadkill. Jim Bob's out.